Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to compare two Super 30 caliber Magnums. We're going to compare the 300 Remington Ultra Magnum to the 30 378 Weatherby Magnum. We're going to look at the history of both these cartridges, look at the ballistics and how they compare to each other, and we'll see which one comes out on top. Hope you enjoy the video. The 300 Remington Ultra Magnum. Remington didn't get into the 30 caliber game until a little late. They introduced this cartridge in 1999 and it is one of the fastest 30 caliber magnums. In fact it has the Winchester Magnum and the Weatherby 300 Weatherby Magnum beat. And by how much? Well looking at the Hornady book the case capacity is 13 percent bigger than the 300 Weatherby and 20% bigger than the 300 Winchester Magnum. So what kind of velocities can you get with the, this bigger case? Uh, we'll go ahead and look at that. Uh, the parent case is loosely based off the 404 Jeffrey case. The 165 grain class bullet, you can hand load this up to 3400 feet per second. And the Weatherby can shoot it around 33 to 3350. The Winchester mag, you're pushing about 3,200. So it's about 200 feet per second faster than a Winchester Magnum. Let's go up to the bigger bullets where this thing really excels. Uh, the 200 grain bullet is the bullet I'm going to compare to the 3378 Weatherby today. But you can hand load that up to 3150. I think you could probably get a little more pushing it. Uh, Hornady is always a little conservative on their numbers. So I wouldn't be surprised 3150 to 3200 feet per second. The 3370 Weatherby Magnum, officially introduced in 1996, and uh, when it came out, it uh, dethroned the 300 Weatherby as the fastest factory offered 30 caliber Magnum, and it still is the king of the 30 calibers, speed-wise. And this cartridge really started its beginnings in the late 50s as a Wildcat cartridge that Roy Weatherby was uh, experimenting with. Uh, he was asked by the military to come up with a cartridge that could exceed 4,000 feet per second up to 5,000 feet per second as a the armor piercing round. And this is what he was playing with to try to get those velocities. Now let's go ahead and see what kind of velocities you can get with a 26 inch barrel in a hunting rifle. Before I show you the ballistics comparing the 300 ROM and the 3378 Weatherby, I just wanted to show you kind of the uh, selection for 30 caliber magnums. Now I don't have all of them, but on the left is the very popular 300 Winchester Magnum. The next one is the 300 PRC, which is one of the newest ones. In the middle is the classic 300 Weatherby Magnum. And then it goes up to the 300 Remington Ultra Magnum. And then lastly is the big 30, 378 Weatherby which again is a little bit longer than the ROM, but also quite a bit wider as well. But there they are. Let's go ahead and see what the 300 ROM can do with a 200 grain ELDX loaded to 3,150 feet per second. Muzzle energy, 4,400 foot-pounds. Also to note, the recoil. You know, without a muzzle brake, this thing is going to kick you and kick you hard. 37. Okay, let's just take this out to conventional hunting distances, and it's going 2,500 feet per second. Energy, 2,830 foot-pounds, which is a lot. The drop, only, well, only 20.8 inches. Now let's just, so these are super 30s, let's just see how far we can go before we hit 1,500 foot-pounds of energy. And we're hitting 900 yards is when it hits 1500 foot pounds and only 176 inches of drop and since we're already at 900 let's just see what it does at a thousand yards it's going 1700 feet per second 1300 foot pounds and only 233 inches of drop this thing is crazy powerful the 3378 weatherby with the same eldx bullet it has a muzzle velocity of 3300 feet per second and your muzzle energy is 4800 foot pounds and again, let's look at recoil without a muzzle brake. In a 10-pound rifle, it's a lot, 48 pounds of recoil. So a muzzle brake is kind of a must in this rifle. 
It's going 2,653 feet per second at 400 yards. Your energy is incredible, 3,100 foot-pounds of energy. That's like a 30-06 out of the muzzle. Drop only 18 and a half inches. So you're getting about an inch and a half difference at 400 between the ROM and this. Well, let's just see how far we can take this before we hit 1,500 foot-pounds and we go all the way out to 1,000 yards. It's going 1,800 feet per second. 1,500 foot-pounds, and only 209 inches of drop, or two and a half, 209 and a half inches of drop. So again, it's one of the flattest cartridges in the world, and it has, well, about 20 inches advantage over the 300 Remington Ultramac. Let's talk pros and cons for each of these cartridges. So let's start with the 300 rum. One of the first cons I see with the 300 ROM is the factory ammo is really tame. So what I mean by that is that you're really not getting the full potential when you buy factory ammo with the 300 ROM. In fact, it's around 300 Weatherby velocities. So to get the true potential of the 300 ROM, you have to hand load it. Now let's talk about the benefits over the 3378 Weatherby. Number one, it's not belted. So for reloaders, this is a advantage. Um, you're going to get more brass life. The other advantage is this cartridge is offered in a lot more rifles than the 3378 Weatherby. So you can get this cartridge in a cheaper rifle and from different manufacturers, unlike the Weatherby. Lastly, I don't know how much of an advantage this really is, and you guys probably don't care when you're getting one of these Super 30s is this is a tad bit more efficient than the 3378 Weatherby. But again, I'm not sure how much that really matters. Okay, let's talk 3378 Weatherby. Let's talk about the cons first. Well, it's only offered in one type of rifle, the Mark V. Now, obviously, you can pick from your Mark Vs, but yeah, it's... It's not widely available. Let's now talk about some of the pros for the 3378 Weatherby. With factory ammo and you're comparing it to the 300 Remington Ultra Mag, this thing is going a lot faster. Weatherby really has their factory ammo going quite fast. And speaking of factory ammo, both of these are very expensive. Uh, I think the 3378 Weatherby is just a tad bit more expensive, but the difference is not much. And the last pro that I want to talk about with the 3378 Weatherby is just how fast it is and flat. This cartridge is one of the flattest shooting cartridges in the world, in factory ammo. And when you hand load it, it gets even better. So for bragging rights, uh, the 3378 Weatherby does have the 300 ROM beat.